here at Arlington. As the first pitch is just about outside, it is ball. at 195 innings pitched and plenty of complete games. Here's a ground ball hit out to the shortstop. Throw on to first base. The regular season champs, first time since 07. As this one's lined down the left field, it's going to get in there for a base hit. This on the fair side of that foul line from Softball America. This one a hot shot off the glove of the third baseman, Corona. Fielded, though, by Hampton. Throw on to Franklin at first. Can't scoop it in time. I think Gibson would have been safe anyway. Adams, the 0-2 pitch. This one's a line drive. Fair ball down the field line. Bobbled by the left fielder, Cooper. A base hit. Cruising into second is Sophia Nugent. The Lady Bulls get on the board first. It's one nub. Just three. As the 0-2 pitch, a little nubber. Out towards first base, Franklin will... Throw to home to get winging Adams. Right to her on over to Franklin in time for the final out of the inning. Well, worked around a bit of a jam. Gave up the early gotcha 165 ERA, 16 and 2. As this one's popped up down the left side in foul territory as it's West who runs over there to make the catch for the first. Some was out about two hours before first pitch as Adams lines this one into center field. It'll drop in for a base hit. 2-0 pitch by Adams. This one popped up shallow center field. It's going to drop in front of Nice as a base hit. 3-1 pitch. Misses the zone down low. It's ball four. So now first and second. With nobody in his plate. The one pitch, opposite field, down the right field line. If it stays fair and it drops in for a hit, that'll be extra bases and likely score a run. It will. And our great piece of hitting there by Malloy. It's not the first time we've seen him just keep it inside the fair line. Plenty of top-tier talent they're facing this season. Through one pitch by Bumpers, misses down low. It's ball four. The 0-1 pitch, weak ground ball out to short. They'll take the easy play there at first as Hampton throws on to Frank. Bumpers on the 1-1. This one, a high fly ball out to center field. Nice is going back. It is gone. Three-run home run, Sophia Nugent. That's Sophia. As it's 6 nothing, Tennessee. Really jumping out to a huge lead. The 0-2 pitch. Have a lazy fly ball down the right field line, but caught there by Westbrook, and that will end the inning. Nice reaction from the crowd for the foul ball catch, but a big strikeout here as Hampton goes down sweating. One, two pitch, this one a pop up on the infield. It's gonna be Fall who calls for it and makes the catch. And there's two gone. The one, two pitch, that one rose and swung on and missed. Out here at UTA, you're in your later years of playing uh, obviously an adjustment now having her as a head coach, you know, talking about your time at UTA, what was that like overall? Up that memory because that was the one I was going to bring up that <laughs> I can remember is this ground ball is hit here by Taylor. They get the tag on the runner and cut. In the air and I'm like, if there's a potential that I can go get it, I'm going to go get it. It doesn't matter if I'm getting scraped up or whatever happens after this as long as we're done. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of girls that I would say I'm really, really close with on the team. Um, Gracie Bumpers and Lindsey Franklin, um, as well as Morgan Westbrook, I think. You know, what can you tell us about something like that? Um, I actually talked to Abby the other day, and it was like, hey, listen, you're you're very green. Well, Gutierrez gets a nice welcome college softball. Is that one <laughs> sent out of here by Riley West, a two-run home run. That makes it nine to nothing. Yeah. I mean, I... Um, somebody to look up to about that is Gracie Bumpers. You know, every time she gives something up, she always comes back 10 times stronger and it's ready to get the next person out.
Yeah, I think that's the one thing that you look at. Right, I wish I would have had a kid's day when I was small, being able to go see some sports <laughs> and just being a part of that and getting to watch people that you don't know getting to play. I think it's great. It's been a great performance so far by Tennessee offensively. This is a two-hop chopper out to the shortstop. A bullet by Fall pitched already four strikeouts. One-two, weak chopper out to second, fielded by Gibson. Throw over on the first bank of the yard, both courtesy of Tennessee. As the full count pitch, called strike three, fifth strikeout. Here for Gottschall. In um, organizing meetings, um, contacting student athletes, keeping track of student athletes' involvement. Nice ground ball, double play, five, four, three. UTA turns it. As that will end the game, Tim, we're going to have. It's an amazing experience for them. As this one line drive over the glove of the shortstop, Faw, base hit. So, second hit for the Mavericks comes here in the fourth. On a monthly basis, and we do some culture training, um, talk about. Popped up down the right side. Coming on over is going to be Taylor. As that will end the. And athletes, they, they love their coaches, and, and I still have a really good relationship with my, my head coach at the time. Um, obviously, because once I see somebody like Tennessee, you know, on our field, yeah, we're we're not doing what we want to do against them, but um, you know, it's a great experience for our student athletes here, and so it's it's reviewing those rules with the coaches and making sure we all understand um, the implementation of the rules when they're effective, and you know, it, sometimes that can be challenging because we can see how often rules change. The ground ball gets through the hole on in the left field. Of you know, access to to be able to do. Um, you know, analytics is incredible now. Uh, and we just didn't do that, you know, 10 right. years ago, 10 plus years ago. So just not, not the game that they thought, you know, it was going to be a tough one. They sure. knew that going in. They didn't mm -hmm. know what was going to happen. This one's fly ball hit out left field. It'll bounce off the wall. One run comes in the score. Here comes a second as it's a two RBI double off the bench. There's always something that you can learn from this, this game, even though, yes, it's not going our way. There's a lot of good that you can pull. Um, so, you know, you want to point out the positives. Uh, You're going to see a team that was in the College World Series and a team that's developing like UTA as this one popped up behind first. Franklin corrals it. And that's the first. The UTA Drug and Alcohol Awareness Coalition and our missions align perfectly um, for the tournament you know, when it comes to alcohol and alcohol misuse. So, they're of UTA Athletics. Here's a 2-2 here by Adams. One hopper out to Franklin, and that one will end the inning. A six spot notices to that invitational and everything that Angela was talking about. As Morgan Westbrook comes in, gets hit by the pitch, and she will reach first. Maybe this is the start that UTA needs. Weak chopper in front of the mound. Throw to second for one, but that's all she'll get. They get the force of Westbrook, Eastern Illinois, at 2 o'clock. 2-2 Two -two pitch line drive out in the center field. It's going to drop for a base hit right in front of Malloy. So Cooper in Waco be taking on the Baylor Bears this weekend. It's one line, a diving play by the shortstop, but she's not going to have anywhere to throw it. They are down to their final strike, final out. The one-two pitch swung on and missed. As that one is your ball game, final score, Tennessee. Run rules them 15-0.